Yeah, boy. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'll get some light on me. There we go. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's either late at night or early in the morning, but it's really only like 7.30 because, you know, well, 7.18, but yeah, it do be winter. So, out of breath because I was just running to grab the camera because we're getting loaded up here. So, as you can see, I got the truck behind me. So, this is actually a rental. Wish I could afford something like that, but someday, hopefully in the next few years. And, uh, got a trailer here. Again, not mine. Wish I could afford one. Hopefully in a couple years, but my buddy Mike, um, if you guys are local, any of you Honda guys want your motors built and Honda stuff done, like that hit this guy up i'll have his instagram here he's such a good community dude like he brings me work a bunch and he's let me use the trailer like whatever but it's my birthday here in a couple days uh today's the 15th my birthday's on the 17th i'll be 28 this year because i'm a freaking old guy so uh yeah we're going drifting so do you guys remember back in uh march i think i don't know fd orlando um i got the hookup from my buddy mang at threes racing who's also you know, partner with like Ken Gushi and stuff. They were, they gave us a hookup at FD and then let me tour Ken's car and, you know, use it for my proposal and all that stuff. But uh, Meng extended an invite for a drift event they're hosting at Apple Valley Speedway on the 17th. So we're gonna go do that. So there's been a whole crap ton of stuff going on the last week and it's, wish I could say it's been for the better and long term it'll be for the better. Short term it sucks ass because my life is in shambles and it's a mess right now. But uh, despite that, we're gonna go drift and spend money I really don't have, but it'll be worth it. So let's load up the car and uh, Yeah, first time driving Truck with a trailer in a car drove a little bit here on the way uh, Got some practice, but <laughs> good thing my fiance grew up with horses. So she has a little bit of experience <laughs> You want to let the thing down so I can scoot these underneath? Oh the pump? Yeah yeah. Just a little bit. It's got a nice tilt setup to it, and it's got a winch too if the car didn't run or if it breaks. So. That's So, uh, we're closing on our first house, which is part of the exciting news for this video. Uh, we also got a cat that you can hear in the background that is destroying things because my fiance wants to have a farmhouse. And uh, anyway, so this is something I want to show you guys really quick. But yeah, so ignore the mess. We're in the middle of packing, cooking, moving, whatever. So, um, if you guys don't already know, Velocity Race Fab is my company slash whatever. And with that, you know, I have merch. And if you want to get some, you know, it is on the website, and this is the new seasonal holiday stuff. So, it's only available until the new year, and then it will be gone forever. So, this video, you know, by the time this video reaches you, you'll probably only have, like, another week and a half to order. But, so, this one is more for us, because I want to start from now on having keepsake stuff for when I do stuff. So, this is a pillow, and if you guys want, you know, this as an option just for future stuff, because I plan on doing more cool designs like this, we can do pillows. So, double-sided. I think it's really cool. A sweater, because these are, you know, available in both designs, because again, it is winter, so, you know. Yeah. That's funny, is Lazy Man Garage ordered after I even released it and announced it, and he got his stuff for me. But yeah, so this one is a large. So, I don't know, I've never tested the sweaters before, because the shirts, they have like a million different types and companies and stuff you can buy through. Uh, sweaters, I think I only saw like one, so it's kind of like a general, so it's fuzzy. It's very soft on the inside for sure. So this is what I will be rocking out there. Sorry, Ken, I was going to wear your sweater till I realized this stuff came in the mail today. So, there you go. Not bad. I like it. And then, of course, t-shirts, everybody's favorite. Got the same one. And this one is a large as well. So every time I order these, I always forget which shirt manufacturer I use. And uh, so if my t-shirts are inconsistent in texture, color, design, and softness, whatever, it's, it's I'm just, I'm just, I can't remember. So yeah, looks pretty solid though. I really love the design. I'm not that creative. So I use a, a guy on Fiverr 
which is a very cool website. So, yeah, I don't know. If you guys want the merch, though, go to the website. I have a real website now, VelocityRaceTub.com. Now we'll see you in the morning. All right, next day, got the everything loaded up, got the truck all set up. We just swung by the shop to grab a tool bag really quick and some jack stands and uh, my air chuck. So, yeah, we're going to hit the road now, swing by Hasport. There's a special guest there this weekend. And uh, I made an intake for a vehicle that they're doing on the uh, channel this weekend. So I just want to pop in, you know, put my name to face or face to name. Say hi, give him a sticker. Because um, he actually hit me up on Instagram, which I didn't think he would because of the size of his, you know, the channel. But, yeah, we'll go check him out. Hopefully we don't scare him away with the camera. Oh, yeah. What's up as well? Uh, I don't think I've ever met anyone. Oh, what's, what's up, going man? on? Chris? How you doing? Chris, Nolan. Nice to meet you. Hey, That's Mike Taylor. Taylor. How you doing? He's boss. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. All right, hung out with Nolan for a little bit. Just did some small chatting and just talking. So now we're gonna hit the road. Well, get some get some Waffle House first, then go hit the road. Thankfully, it's not too long of a drive. You know, normally the Cali stuff is pretty daunting since you gotta go slow on the freeway. But yep, yeah, about six hours and we should be there. So we gotta stop by Lee's Man Garage's house though because we got some bumper bars to give them, so let's get going. All right, so doing the first uh, fuel fill up right now, we're in Blythe, which I, you know, waited till we got here because I thought it was gonna be a lot cheaper because I need to top off the BMW as well. And uh, it's not, it's actually like 30 cents more here than it was in Phoenix, surprisingly. So yeah, get some gas and we're you know, roughly halfway point, thankfully. Well, late in the evening, and uh, we just made it to Chris's house, so let's hang out for a few, give him these bumper bars, scoop my bumper, and uh, yeah, go to a hotel. Well, I'm not changing. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the same thing. What's yeah. up, buddy? Hey, buddy. How have you been? Chilling. It's good to see you. Oh, Hi. How are good you? to see you. It's so dark. Lights over the, the skyscape, uh, you said, right? Yeah, no, because it was trippy. We were coming down and it was just like lights all up in the sky. Oh, I was with the aliens, man. Because <laughs> we have an airport here. Uh oh. Yeah, this is it, huh? This is the uh, ship box. Does that do go sideways pretty decently. I like the little LED glow. Oh, yeah, because it's got interior neons. This thing is sick. Ooh, okay, watch out. Oh, the harness bar? Yeah. Yeah. Eventually I'll cage it. I just, I'm not doing doors or, you know, door banging yet. So really no need for one, nor do I have the money to spend on material right now to build one. So. What's in the box? Ow. Uh, air compressor. It's so cold right now. Now everybody warned us about the road coming into the track. I didn't think it was gonna be this gnarly. I mean, really good thing we have a truck in the trailer, but like, geez, y'all weren't Dude, lying. Imagine taking the BMW down there. Dude, I, yeah, no, imagine taking like the S2000 or something down this road. This place is really out in the middle of nowhere though, like just straight desert around us. All right, so we are unloaded, car is ready to go, tire pressures are good, got everything set out, and uh, yeah, we're just, track is hot right now. I am, so they did it in two groups. I'm yellow, which is the second group. No, nothing based on skill levels or nothing, but just kind of more of a convenience thing to keep everybody safe, since there's a decent amount of drivers here. Nothing crazy, but also not minimalistic. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm a little nervous waiting on DJ to show up. But uh, yeah, I've been hanging out with my boy, Mang, guy walking over there. Uh, thankfully, you know, Ken Gushi actually vaguely remembered me from Florida when we did the proposal surprise thing, but yeah. Skid pad's open all day, so I'm, I don't know, I might go warm up and get the jitters out on that, because looks like there's a few guys over there right now, now that I'm watching it. So, yeah, I I'm excited. Let's, let's get some seat time. So, first session out, don't know what I'm doing, but uh, let's go learn the course, see what happens.
these people look like they're pretty decent. Take a lap or two to just chill and get some uh, uh, get the diff warmed up and to see the track because I was warned about going off in the back corner. All right, so big sweeper. These dudes are fast. <laughs> so this corner back here. Oh, he said, yeah, this one's got the curb, so don't go off. Oh, well, that's confusing, because uh, the uphill... This is a really tight, windy track, so... I can see now why he recommended I uh, figure it out. And these guys are going fast, so... I was probably in their way since I'm trying to figure the course out. Okay. All right, well, I guess let's just go ahead and see what happens. Oh, immediate ice. Okay. to figure out today so excited lightly terrified okay uphill wide and then this guy <laughs> Okay, so short session, because there's not really any staffing, so they don't really tell you when to go out, per se. You kind of just gotta sit over there and watch for the flag, I guess. All right, well, I'm gonna attempt to go out a second time. Let's see what happens. I think it's, it's, it's really dead out there right now, and I think it's because the track is so cold that not a lot of people are wanting to, you know, spin out. So I'm gonna try and take that to my advantage and at least maybe get an easier time learning the track, even if I'm spinning. 
you know, I'm at least learning, right? group out oh okay yeah because yeah. i was trying to watch from down there where okay, the uh for the flag okay. but i didn't no see it so i just kind of okay. wandered out okay have fun yeah appreciate it yeah, yeah. Oh. so it's red right now right no oh, right now it's yellow so you're good you're good oh okay yeah, yeah. okay thank you that was my bad see that that's kind of the downside of them not having any uh people out here
I just don't think I have the horsepower to swing this because you gotta be able to swing it so wide. <laughs> time waiting on the food to get made so Taylor my fiance is waiting for that and I saw they just put the yellow flag out so I'm gonna go and hit a few laps oh Ooh, yeah yeah that doesn't look good <laughs> Looks like just the lip. Oh, I think it's just brush. Look, yeah, go forward. Forward? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs>
hang out. We're like, so you finally showed up. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> you had to let the boys uh, learn how to drive. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you're next. You got to go next. Yeah. No, I'll definitely give her a rip. So they're just working on the skid pad stuff right now, and then uh, open track right now. I so hyped in that last session, like you guys saw on the camera. Freaking stoked. Oh, what he's coming out. Huh? Snake. Oh, Bet you he rides a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> So, DJ wanted me to drive the Yunos, or AKA the Miata. First time drifting right hand drive, we're just sticking to first gear here on the skid pad. And this clutch is like on the floor, but where it bites. So like I've, I already stalled it, just moving it over here. So yeah, just went in line. It's a bucket seat. Day is getting pretty late. Uh, I just went out for a session. My best one of the day didn't start off very well, but it progressively got better. See my front bumper's kind of coming off. It's been doing that, it's just getting worse now. You gotta pull this wheel well liner out or fasten it somehow, because that keeps rubbing. Uh, I, at one of the times I went off, I broke the V-band at the front of the exhaust here, so uh, I gotta replace that. And then I had my first boo-boo. Uh, in the far back corner, way back yonder, I came in a little too hot and uh, yeah, my ABS has been wigging out when I start losing traction, like over-rotating, and it, you know, dicked me, and I kind of backed it into the tire wall, so, first real boo-boo, you can see the, the tire mark, so, sorry Alex, uh, I know you wanted this bumper, but it's, uh, it's a little beat up now. GoPro is also dead, so, unfortunately, I didn't get to film that session, but I'm gonna go out one more time, we're just loading up, or getting a head start on loading up, and then I'll have uh, my fiance pull the phone out, and do it that way. And we'll go and hopefully get another really good link. Cause I was able to almost link the whole thing and I'm so freaking stoked. Like starting to figure it out. Cool kick flip. Yeah. Cool kick flip. Ah, woo! <laughs> if you guys don't already know, this is Mang from Threes. Oh <laughs> yeah. So these are the guys hosting the event. Oh yeah, thanks for making it out. Dude, yeah. I finally, I don't know, you probably weren't watching, but I almost linked the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. I got my first boo-boo. Oh, what'd you hit? Uh, the tire wall. Oh, the, co the corner you told me not to go off yeah. in, I over-rotated and my ABS freaks out when I start losing traction and it, it just goes the to the floor. Yeah. yeah, I just rolled right up into it. So. That's awesome. But yeah, kind of kind of getting into the mindset of just fucking send it and it seems to be helping a little bit. That works. When you're scared, it uh, puts you in a, a weird situation. Yeah, but <laughs> that last one was my best one for sure. That's awesome. So I'm, I'm happy. Yeah.
I had a blowout. <laughs> Took off my trim piece too, so got you know battle scars down the car now. Need to be polished out. Not that I'm gonna, because it makes me feel cooler. But yeah, and we're gonna wrap it up for the day. I just did a ride, or had somebody do a ride along because uh, he wants to buy a BMW. But yeah, I had a ton of fun. I'm tired, so unfortunately there's an accident on the freeway. So we're gonna hang out a little bit, go kick it with Meng, and hopefully you know Ken see what they're up to. But yeah, I'm gonna change the tire out. I'm gonna hang out and go home. It's an even better part about having. So many of these stock 16 inch wheels is when stuff like this happens, I don't have to worry about damaging them. Oh, that's why I wore gloves. <laughs> Took out my wheel well liner, too. Oh. <laughs> I think so. I might have to grab my razor knife. Oh, there we go. Finally heading out. I know there's got to be a crap ton of footage at this point, so if it's a really long video, hopefully you guys stay to the end. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. I know I definitely had some fun. I'm bummed that my GoPro died in the last, um, last good session, uh, so I didn't get to film that. But... Again, thanks to Threes Racing for hosting this thing. Thanks for Mang uh, for the invite, but we're beat. We're going to go home, and uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you're new to the channel. Uh, hopefully, you've considered subscribing, and yeah, hopefully the next event we have some more fun blowing out some tires, and hopefully, you know, I don't know, not breaking the car. Thankfully, nothing broke so far other than my bumper, but yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. That was pretty bad. <laughs> But when you pulled off, it was just like wobbling. <laughs> Alright. That would have been so shitty. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs>